It's inevitable that nuclear power has to grow. We'll need more, I believe, as our economy starts to continue to turn around and more manufacturing comes back on the grid. From a risk management perspective, we have guidelines with respect to fire protection, uh, with respect to machinery breakdown, and also nuclear safety and operations. Uh, our members are putting their capital at risk, and so we're more interested in even things that are closer to the ground, you know, even uh, a finer tooth comb type thing. You'll need to access the capacity from the world market through, our, um, through the mechanism of the world pooling system. The association is run by a committee made up of our member insurers and reinsurers and we take care of the day-to-day -day operations. Every insurer's main goal is to keep financially solvent so that they can meet their obligations under the policies on which they've written. A, a nuclear could be a catastrophic event. And because of that, they have excluded that on their main policies, and now they can control that exposure by providing capacity to the nuclear pool. Through our expertise, we make sure that we protect those assets as much as possible. So therefore, not just one insurer, but many insurers, as a matter of fact, hundreds of insurers around the world um, provide this cover through the pooling system. We are responsible to our member companies, but we're also responsible to, our, to all the other stakeholders, our clients, as well as our, um, you know, any government bodies that we, that we deal or interact with, and, and the Canadian public as well. We serve an important role for the Canadian public because we make sure that the liability limit is covered by insurance and that that insurance is the best possible insurance in terms of quality that can be given. My name is Colleen DeMerchant. I'm the general manager of the Nuclear Insurance Association of Canada.